Hey everyone, this is Isaac and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the animated silhouette effect in Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is insert the photo that you want to create a silhouette of. I have this picture of this guy proposing to this woman. What I'm going to do is select the image, go to the object selection tool and select my objects. Make sure you click on this option of two full rectangles. This means that you can make multiple selections at once. As you can see, I can select the ground nicely. Now that I have my selection, I'm going to clean it up using the quick selection tool with the minus, meaning I can delete the parts of the selection that I don't want included. Or clicking on the plus, I can add parts of the image that I want that the object selection tool didn't include. When you're happy with the selection, what you want to do is press Command plus J or on PC Control plus J to duplicate your selection. As you can see, we have removed the background of our image. What you're going to do now is go to the FX button, go to blending options. What you want to do is choose black. And now that your silhouette is black, we can see the imperfections of our selection even better now. So what you can do is grab the brush tool, select the size 20, put the hardness to 100, and you can fill up those gaps and imperfections. Once you're happy with your silhouette, we're going to bring in the background. Now let's animate the silhouette. Go to Window and enable Timeline. Click Create Video Timeline and now you can animate your layers. We can delete the first layer, we don't need it. Right click on our subject layer, convert it to Smart Object and then select it in the timeline, bring this arrow down and click on this stopwatch next to the transform text. This will create our first keyframe. Then drag this line to the end of the timeline and create a new keyframe. Go back to the first keyframe, select the layer and zoom in a little bit. Let's see how it looks now. And then do the same thing for your background layer. Convert it to a smart object, press the down arrow, make a new keyframe at the start and the end of the timeline. Go back to the start, position it how you want it to be. Once you're done, you can play back your animation. And that's it for this video. If you found this video useful, subscribe for more tutorials like this one. Check the description below for the links of all my socials. And if you have any questions or future video requests, leave them down in the comments below.